Hello and welcome to Farm Life Fab, where I try to add a little bit of fab to farm life because when you're surrounded by cows, you can always add a little bit of glitter. So before you leave, make sure that you subscribe so that you can join the herd and then ring the bell so that you can get notified whenever I post videos, whenever that may be. So let's get into the video. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my favorite skincare brand. This is Tatcha. I'm gonna be going over different types of their products as well as kind of reviewing them. I have been using a lot of these products for a long time. Um, so I do have pretty developed opinions on each one of them. So the first thing that I do in my skincare routine, um, at night at least, is I'm going to go in with an oil cleanser to take off all of my makeup. Um, now this is the Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. Now I don't always go in with this one. Honestly, I normally use the Elemis Cleansing Balm, but I do like this one. I tend to just like a thicker consistency for using a cleansing oil, but I do tend to take this for travel because my Elemis one is very large. So I typically go in with this. So what you'll do is you just kind of put some on your hands, do it dry, rub it on your dry face um, till all of that makeup kind of dissolves. Add a little bit of water, it emulsifies it, mix it in on your face, kind of makes it all milky looking, rinse it off and it gets off a lot of your makeup. So after that, then I go in with a cleanser. Now there are a couple of different types of cleansers that I have. Um, and I kind of use them for different things depending on how my skin is feeling. So my normal go-to is the rice polish, the classic one. They do have like a deep one, a gentle one, deep one, gentle one, and a soothing one or calming one or something like that. But I tend to like the, just the classic one if you have more sensitive skin. The sensitive one is also a good option. So the cool thing about this is it's a powder. Um, it does have a lid normally, but my dog ate it, but it has this little thing right here. You can open and close it, dump the powder out on your hand when it's a little bit wet. You add just like a little trickle of water, rub it together. It's going to make a nice foam, rub that all over your face. Um, it doesn't feel like it's doing much because it's just rubbing kind of bubbles on your face, but it actually, when you rinse it off, your skin feels amazing. It's like baby soft because it's really good for exfoliating. Um, they do also have the rice polish, nope, the, the rice wash, my bad, um, which is very similar to that one. It's just kind of already in a cream formula. So I tend to leave this in the shower because I don't want to take the powder in the shower. This one's relatively new to my routine, so I don't have a lot to say about it. Um, but the regular rice polish, absolutely amazing, hands down, have to have it. I have like three extras because I cannot run out. Um, but I am enjoying this one in the shower. Feels very similar once you kind of get it sudsed up and everything. If you need a bit more intense of a cleanser, because I do have very dry skin, I tend not to need really intense cleansers. Um, but they do have the Deep Cleanse. Um, this is a new bottle because mine is completely out. Um, but it has these like little granules of loofah fruit or something like that in it um, that gives it like a little bit of grit um, for you know massaging in there it gets a little bit deeper but it's also very gentle so it's not like the St. Ives scrub or anything like that. Um, so after I have cleansed then I typically go in with the essence. Um, now with this one honestly mm, I don't love it. I mean it's fine. I just don't understand kind of what some of the hype is. It is, now is this my like third bottle? Yes, it is, but it tends to be very expensive. So I typically only get it when it's in on like a kit from QVC where it's a really good price and then I use it because I have it type of situation, but I could probably stand to not have it in my routine. But this you just kind of put, there's this little spout, you put some in your hands, put them together, just kind of pat your face. Um, and it just kind of helps your other products penetrate deeper. Are they good enough raisin cheese that would penetrate? Um, I haven't experimented without it, so it could be making more of a difference than I think, but it's beside the point. Um, next, I typically go in with the Violet C Brightening Serum. This one's a really cool vitamin C serum because it has a water soluble and a fat soluble vitamin C form in it, which is pretty cool. So it kind of goes a bit deeper. Um, it also is in this really cool package. This is my third one, I believe. Um, so I can take off the lid. Oops. 
Um, so this one, it keeps it nice and protected from sunlight. You don't want any light to get to your vitamin C serums because it will degrade them. Um, I typically just do this one time a day, normally in the evening. I don't really do a lot in the mornings because again, my skin is really dry. So typically in the mornings, um, I don't really do anything until I start with sunscreen, which I'll get to in just a minute. Um, but after the serum, then I go in to moisturize and which moisturizer I use kind of depends on how my skin is feeling. So if it's winter, really dry, my skin tends to get irritated easily, it gets really dry, I want to use a thicker, more nourishing cream. Um, so they do have the Ageless Enriching Renewal Cream. This one is a bit more expensive, but it is a really thick formula. I am pretty much completely out of it. Um, I haven't had to use it as much this winter, uh, just because it hasn't been as dry here. So this is a really good one. Um, works really well, very nourishing. Typically, a lot of the times I use the uh, Dewy Skin Cream. This one is one of my favorites. I love the little spoons on top that you use to scoop it up. It's super cute. They've got the most amazing packaging. Um, so this one is one of their more nourishing, just general moisturizers. They've got this one. They've got the Water Cream, which if you have oily skin, absolutely amazing. Um, they also have the Silk Cream, which is actually probably my favorite for the moisturizer. It feels amazing. It is so cool. Like when you get it, it, lit it literally feels like silk. It's so cool. It is a little bit more expensive than the other ones, but I swear the texture is absolutely amazing. So this is the one I tend to go for, especially more during the day, more in the summer, um, but it's winter right now. So I tend to use my dewy skin cream a bit more because it is thicker and it's more nourishing. Uh, after that, I typically, I'm not going to lipstick. Typically go in with an eye cream of some sort. I have two different eye creams. Um, so I do have the Silk Peony, which I actually really enjoy. This one is really, really light. It reminds me a lot of the Silk Cream and the way that it feels because it's just so silky, basically. But I do really enjoy this one. If I'm feeling like my skin's a bit drier, I need something a bit more intense, then I do use the Ageless Revitalizing Eye Cream. Um, this one I'm starting to run low on. It's kind of hard to get out of there, but it's a lot thicker of a formula. So I tend to use this. Again, when my skin is feeling dry, it really needs that extra nourishment. Um, I do actually have a neck cream, um, which I don't use as often. It's really, really thick. I'm like almost completely out, but it's really thick. And so it's great to do all of the decollete kind of up the neck. Um, and again, I do that when my skin's feeling a bit dehydrated and needs a little bit more love. Um, so at night, that's like where I call it a day. I'm done. Um, but in the mornings, again, I typically don't do like any of this in the mornings because I've got dry skin. It does just fine. I don't want to dry it out more. So typically the first step that I have is sunscreen. Um, this one is a new one because I am, mine is sad and in the car where I put it on in the mornings. But this is... This is the most amazing sunscreen. I cannot live without it. If I open a new one, I have to get another one because I, I cannot run out. I have to have this sunscreen. It is my absolute favorite. Um, this is the Pore Perfecting um, Sunscreen. Um, it's a 35 SPF PA++++. Absolute favorite. It has, um, it's both a chemical and a physical sunscreen, but it's the texture and the smell that I just love. Like the smell just smells good. It smells like skincare. It doesn't smell like sunscreen. Oh, I love it. But the texture, which you're not going to be able to see on camera, but the texture is just so creamy and silky and it just kind of melts into the skin. Oh, it is truly amazing. All time favorite sunscreen. Doesn't leave any sort of greasy feeling. Um, the only problem I've run into is if you put like load up too much on your face, it can kind of pill a little bit, but that's just me being overly aggressive with my sunscreen. Um, so this one absolutely have to have. Um, also they have some amazing masks. I don't have any of their sheet masks right now because I use them all and haven't ordered more because they're a little expensive. Their eye masks, also amazing. This one is the one that I, I cannot live without. But this one is the Violet C Radiant Mask. Kind of goes with this one. Matchy, matchy. Number one, beautiful packaging. Plus, this stuff is purple. So every time I wear this, I always start singing that song about the flying purple people eater, or however that song goes. There's a one night, one horn, flying purple people eater. But this one also smells amazing. 
It is the coolest mask you will ever try. So you put it on with a nice thin layer, makes your face purple, which is pretty cool, but it doesn't really like dry down. It, it dries so that you can like rub your fingers on it and nothing comes off, but it doesn't get like dry and crinkly. It's the strangest thing. Um, and then you add like a little bit of water to it, kind of emulsify it a little bit and then rinse it off and your skin will feel amazing. And if you do that like in the morning or before a big event, I swear your skin will look amazing it's so it makes your skin look really dewy hydrated healthy glowy it just makes sense because it's the radiance mask but it really is my favorite have to have mask um i do have a couple of other things um and here have like a mini sunscreen i have like three of these because i keep them everywhere i have to have them like at all times there's always one in my purse um and then i have a couple of lip products they do have really really good lip products mine are kind of spread out everywhere I realized that when I was gathering all this stuff, I have a Tatcha problem. I, I have too much of it. So I have, this one is the Magnolia Bloom um, Camellia Lip Balm. I have another one in a different color at work. I've got the regular one with the little gold flex in it in my purse. Really, really love it. It's a great, great lip balm. I don't like that you have to like dip your finger in it, especially with COVID and everything, but it still works amazing. Um, and I also have this lip liner and their lipsticks prettiest packaging. I'm actually wearing this one right now. This is the Kyoto um, red, but it's like shaped beautifully. This one's a little wonky that I'm putting on my lips, but I haven't worn this one as much. So it's got like the most beautiful shape. The packaging is heavy and beautiful and like clicks. Fantastic. Love their lipstick. Um, they also have the, um, I don't even know how to say it or something um anyways they're blotting papers essentially I have like a little pack that's flat that I keep in my purse but this one's like a little tube and so you just kind of get one out and then not stick your finger in it put it back in um there's actually like a little mirror on the end which is super cool these are really really amazing blotting paper powders pages whatever they're blotting papers um I, I don't really use them a whole lot because again I don't really get super oily or anything like that like this makeup has been on like all day it's like i don't know like four o'clock um and it's been on since about 7 a.m um so there's like a little bit but my skin just doesn't make a ton of oil um i don't know if you can see it kind of gets transparent um so those are also really amazing especially if you have um, really oily skin, great option. There are a couple of things that I forgot. Um, the their primers are awesome. So the silk per silk primer, I'll put a picture. Um, it's in like the little tub. Really enjoy that one. I tend to like that one in the winter. Um, and then they have like a little one in a bottle. Also really enjoy that one. I like that one more for summer or if you have oily skin. Feels amazing, makes your makeup go on beautifully. It's fantastic. Mine is in the car really looking rough because I put on makeup in the car because I don't have my shit together enough to get up in time. Um, and I actually am out of my liquid one, so I need to get more of that. Um, again, the face masks, the sheet ones, really, really good. The um, little lip mask, I forgot to grab that. It's in my bedroom and on my nightstand. Um, Pumpkin, what are you doing, sweetie? What are you doing? What are you doing? Pumpkin's messing with my my little rose gold thing. Pumpkin, say hi. Say hi. Pumpkin's a very happy kitty. You do anything to her? She doesn't really mind. Um, so the sheet masks also really good. Eye masks really good. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I miss that I have direct experience with that I really really enjoy that I have. Hiding. I'll probably think of something else that I was hiding. Every time I go to Sephora, I play the game called I Own That, where I go around being like, I own that, I own that, I own that, because I have a problem. When it comes to skincare, I have a problem, but that's okay. Um, a couple of points about Tatcha, really amazing skincare brand. Um, it's not actually a Japanese skincare brand. It is an American brand, but it is inspired by the uh, geisha. And it's actually typically, pretty sure all of it's made in Japan. Yeah, so they work a lot with their scientists in Japan. So a lot of the ingredients are from Japan. It's really, really cool. Um, a lot of it with their how to say um, three, um, which has like seaweed and rice and 
something else. Um, but the seaweed comes from Okinawa, which is cool because that's where my sister lives. So a lot of really cool ingredients in there. But every time you buy a full full sized item, they actually donate a day of school um, to to girls across the world. Um, so that's really awesome. What's the name of their program? It says it on the package. I lied. It doesn't say it in the package. To say it here ah yes p.s with every purchase you make you help brighten the future of a girl in a developing country one full-size skincare purchase equals one day of school touches proud to partner with room to read so that's the name of the, the uh, charity to make this change possible um they're also working on their packaging by 2024 i believe they're trying to make sure all of their packaging is either refillable recyclable or recycled i believe i don't remember all of their stuff because i don't work for them so i don't know i should That'd be great. Oh, it says on the top. Yeah, I should work for them. The number of people have gotten to get this, insane. But anytime you order from their website, they do give you little samples, which is fun. Um, you can get them off of QVC. That's typically the best way to do it because they have lots of bundles. Or you can wait till they're on sale at Tatcha, which they do do 20% off every once in a while. Um, and they have like gifts with purchase sometimes as well. So this is all of the Tatcha products I have. If you have any questions about any of these different products, just let me know. Or if there's one that you're curious about, probably I have some sort of experience with it, whether it's trying a sample or I just forgot to mention it today. Um, so I can definitely help with that. Um, so have a glorious day and I will see you next time.